kids. Nine o'clock in the morning, man. Things are going crazy. Welcome to the vlog. My name is Mike. I'll be your host today. Thursby.co if you want to get straight fitted with us. We got a crazy, crazy next like two, three, four, five, six M's in my bank account uh, weeks. So yesterday, I absolutely obliterated my legs, thanks to Coach Joe. So now I'm waddling like I've been riding a horse for a month straight to visit Lewis and Clark. I got to run to the gym. It's 9 o'clock. I got all my laptop shit done. So we woke up, banged it out. Zero caffeine, by the way. Zero caffeine record. Typically, I need some caffeine to get, to get the sparks flowing. Caffeine is for the admin production operations, Mike. And that's what we do in the morning. All this stuff I suck at and all this stuff I hate. The organization stuff, the emails, the check-ins. Bullshit. But it's part of the gig. So now, god damn. Every road's always closed, always. Oh, it's an Iron Man race. Props to the fitness folks. But every road is just closed. I got a U-turn fucking triple take. So we're heading to LA. I'm going to Barber Brigade. You guys know how it rocks. And tomorrow I got a big old deadlift day. But... Coach Joe only really did lower body stuff. I mean, he, he did that because I asked him. So it's not like he forgot. But I want to stay jacked. So I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to catch a quick chest pump. Probably just machines real quick, like a 45-minute blaze workout, catch some caffeine, head back home, finish packing, and we're on the road to L.A. Stay tuned. Deadlifts, Barquan, everybody awaits in the City of Angels. I know, I know it's true. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Breakfast of champions. It's kind of what I eat every day. Although I'm not dieting no more, I still don't love breakfast. I like my mind to feel a little better. So we'll do this pre workout, checking emails on the work computer, on the business accounts. So I already checked all mine. We'll have a few. Let's roll through here, but we still got shit to do. I don't know if I've ever showed you all this desk. Y'all seen this desk? I made this thing, literally by hand. Like, come on. You guys didn't know it was like that, huh? Look at that. Me and Kyle built this whole damn thing. Not the, not that, that stool, but the rest of it. Come on, dog. You guys didn't know it's so multi-talented. That's it, huh? Welcome to Third Street, y'all. So I'm gonna grab a little warm up, get my legs uh, rocking. We probably got about 45 minutes. Sometimes that's just the time crunch. So things ain't optimal. That's how you rock. But I, I knew today wasn't part of the program, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I just want to get a little blood going to my legs because they hurt. And I'm about to sit on an airplane, and then uh, I want to catch a booby pump. So I didn't get no booby pump yesterday. We got to keep our titties. It's the salts. Oh. Salt makes you fat. No, it says it's Coach Abby. Oh my God, your water retention. No, it's not even that. It's it might be that time of the month. You're extra bloated. Man periods are a thing. Period. Period. All right. Goodbye, kids. You're leaving? You didn't do anything. I did. I've been here for two hours. Have a safe trip. Bye. I don't want to rag on nobody, but some of y'all make packing way too complicated, man. Two of everything, two-day trip, bada-boom, bada-bing. In worst case, if something gets weird, I'll literally just buy it. I need new undies, buy it. There's stores everywhere. They're fucking $4. We'll figure it out. So I'm running a little late. It's about 10.50. Got to get to the airport in about 20 minutes. So um, let's roll out. I'll see you in LA. I need a shower. It's time to film and train. I think this is called the Fats. One of the first good company shorts. Probably my favorite, to be honest. Super clean, almost like a soccer short. Just a little hit. I don't even see it because of the dark. Yeah, you can. And then one of our newer tees. Um, <clears throat> went to bed late. A little tired, but we're jamming. And we'll, we'll make up for it with like sleep and uh, food and like things being a little different and my legs being sore as shit. Thanks, Joe. Workout number two on the official program. Tug until we die. We'll get back in like energy. Barber Brigade's obviously one of my favorite gyms, and we're filming, um, and I'll be with Bard and the homies, so it'll be exciting, Nadim and Justin. Um, but I think gym hopping is kind of, it's part of the culture already a little bit, but it's like a low-key 
part of the culture that's dying, I feel like, or at least like isn't as much of a thing. Where it used to be a very common thing to choose a day with some homies or your gym goes and visits another gym for a big deadlift day, um, grabs a couple of day passes or have multiple memberships. You know, like all these people are so spoiled and they need the perfect combo rack, a Laco bar, or they can't get better at powerlifting or they choose their gym that way. Where I'm choosing the gym with the culture and the people and then equipment second. Yeah, I want my plates to match and maybe not a bent bar. Um, but even then, dude, like I early days powerlifting, meat prepped for like five years with bent bars and plates that literally didn't match, let alone competition plates, plates that did not match. Pound plates did not match. Different heights, different sizes, colors, rusty, getting tetanus from a fucking, you know, deadlift bar. That's just like part of the game. That stuff doesn't bug me. But if the culture is good, the people are good, I'm there. Um, not that barbell gates like that by any means. They're literally the gold standard of powerlifting gyms looking clean and being clean while still being like hardcore or gritty. Um, but the, the gym hopping culture, I think, has moved or changed or because people are just obsessed with these comp plates. And yeah, specificity matters, but it doesn't matter that much, man. It doesn't matter that much. Um, so that is something about the culture I love a lot. And, you know, hopefully with these vlogs and my travel, we'll bring it back a little bit, show you some gyms. We're heading to a couple different cities in the next few weeks and we'll be uh, in prep. So I'll be showing you guys those gyms because I got to train. So off to Barber Brigade, filming for them. And then the talk show all day. Yesterday was a little chaotic because I landed and went straight to JK News. Um, so shout out to them for having me on, but we didn't get a lot of time to vlog. Deadlift, my shit is sore. Sore, bro. <laughs> Say that since I said it wrong. Take it down. Hey, hey brother. <laughs> can, hey, I have the, can I have the take it down? Can I get the take it down on the sushi, oh, yeah. man? You got the that? what's up, bitch? What? I'm, I'm following this guy. So rude. Dude, Why would you do that? I'm trying to. What's Tekka down, dude? Honestly? I know. Isn't Tekka uh, the fighting game on Dreamcast? That's Tekken. <laughs> Tekken? Tekken? Tekken fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Don usually means a like, rice ball. Uh, so, like, if you go like. Uh, like uyakodon is a chicken and egg with sweet soy sauce over rice. So, so this is probably something on rice. You don't know what Tekka is then? You're lost. No. Your expertise ends there. I know what don is. But isn't it, what's the, uh, what's the thick noodle? Udon. Udon. But that's one word. That's You throw an O in there now. No, this, or a U this in there. Just don't. Yeah, yeah. So what's the go-to post-workout? Best. I think sushi is probably my favorite post-workout ever. Super clean, low fat, high and protein. And you don't feel like crap. Yeah. So like, if you don't work out at night, I only eat junk food at night. Yeah. So you eat junk food at night, then you're going to bed. I'll go to bed with a stomach ache and the farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I got the rest of my day going, you know what I mean? Yeah, like Chipotle is a great post-workout, but you go chips, nacho sauce, all yeah. that. Now we gotta go to bed. Or yeah. pizza. In sushi, like we're probably one of these guys, Chirashi. Uh, Hello. You could probably get like maybe 50 grams of carbs, maybe yeah. even up to like 60, 70 grams of protein. And what, under 20 fat probably? Probably under 10, dude. I'm not gonna do that, but it sounds delicious. I'm gonna go sushi and chicken teriyaki. All right, Brad.
I don't know what it is, if it's fat kid mentality or what, but there's a constant battle within my head, besides the demons, of like a savory, sweet, savory, sweet tug of war. So you have sush, we, it's all savory and slimy. Yeah. And then now I gotta get something to eat. I think I, I can one up you on that. You got a tug of war? Even more so than that. What's your tug of war? So I got the savory and the sweet, of course. Yeah. Because I'm an inner uh, fat kid on the inside. Yeah. But yeah, fat kid's a mentality. We're not fucking fat shaming you weirdos. It's a mentality. Yeah, yeah. But I also got the crunchy. Oh, yeah. And the icy and slushy and creamy. Yeah. So I would need, like, let's say we got katsu, right? That's yeah. like savory and crunchy and yeah. fried or fried chicken or something yeah. like that. Mm, talk dirty. <laughs> and then, Dude, I love textures. And then you get, like, a ice cold something yeah. that's also sweet. Yeah. Textures are it. So that's why I went with gummies. Yeah. Peach gummies. Peach gummies slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got those for the texture. Oh, you got some peach gummies? Yeah, dude. I'm going to oh. share with you. Don't you worry. Because now we're not dieting. I don't know what he's doing I'm, anymore, I'm dude. I'm not dieting today. But gummies are diet. Are they? Yeah, diet gummies. I got the I got the sugar-free, calorie-free ones. But I kind of went... Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, high-protein, high sugar-free, calorie-free... <laughs> they don't make those? Peach trolleys. <laughs> no, I don't believe you. And then my other favorite thing, not sponsored, but we're going to work on it, is uh, because of texture... Liquid Death. One, I think their branding's fucking sick. What do you mean, the, the water? Yeah, because the bubbles. What about it? The texture. I love bubbles. I love yeah. things in my mouth. I know you do. Yeah. Yeah. You do too. I do. Crunchy, slurpy, <laughs> creamy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. I'm sorry I didn't vlog more, y'all. Uh, things are getting a little crazy. You know, I'm trying to balance this be a kind of CEO, CCO. We got multiple positions at Third String Good Company, plus my other businesses, my other company, plus the content creation. Plus now I'm powerless, I'm trying to get strong. So balancing all my hats and still gonna vlog out for you. I'm doing the best I can. Again, I'm sorry I didn't vlog a little bit more, but we're heading home to SAC. We got a lot more travel on the road, a lot more vlogs and big lifts on the way. So stay tuned, like this thing, we over me. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. Sell the mic, I'll catch you on the next one. New videos Monday, Thursday. Share this thing out, join Discord. I'll talk to you guys soon, new video coming soon.